Kiriko is the newest hero to be added to the roster of Overwatch 2. If you've played the original Overwatch or have the Premium Battle Pass, then you already have her unlocked. If not, then don't worry, you just need to get to level 55 on the free battle pass to get her, which may take you a while. Isn't modern video game monetization fun? <laughs> I'm Jamie Latour, and this is how to play Kiriko in Overwatch 2. Kiriko is a support character who has 200 HP and scary eyeballs. As a support, her job is to heal her team, and she does that by flinging pieces of paper at them. That's a unique healing tactic. By pressing the right trigger or primary fire button, Kiriko throws out her healing Ofuta talismans. When you aim at a character in need of healing, these Ofutas will home in on them to restore their health. You could fire 10 of these at a time before you need to replenish them. Now, support characters can kill as well as heal, as many people on the internet have pointed out to me, and Kirigo's main source of damage comes from her throwable kunai. By pressing the left trigger or secondary fire button, you'll throw kunai at the enemy team. You can throw 12 of these before you need to reload, and they're gonna require some accuracy as they're physical projectiles. Their base damage isn't that impressive, However, they do deal significant critical damage, so you should always try to aim for the heads of the bad guys when you're throwing these things out. One of Kiriko's active abilities is her Protection Suzu, and this is a good spot in the video to point out that I am not good at pronouncing things. By pressing the R1 right bumper or E key, you'll toss out a Suzu, which is a small Japanese Shinto bell. Thank you, Wikipedia. By throwing this on the ground or onto a teammate, it'll make anyone within its radius temporarily invulnerable to damage and cleanse them of any negative status effects, such as the anti-healing effect caused by Ana's biotic grenade or burning caused by Ash's dynamite. This has a cooldown of 14 seconds. For traversal, Kiriko has her Swift Step ability. By pressing L1 left bumper or left shift, you'll teleport to a fellow teammate. This has a cooldown of 7 seconds and will even let you warp to someone through a wall. On top of that, she also has a passive ability that will allow her to climb walls by jumping to them, much like how Genji and Hanzo can. Finally, her ultimate ability is called Kitsune Rush. By activating this ult, a Kitsune, which is a mystical fox spirit, I am learning so much about Japanese culture from this video, will materialize and create a path in the direction that you're facing. Any heroes within this path will receive increased movement, attack, and ability cooldown speed. On the surface, Kiriko's kit can seem rather simplistic, but she can be pretty complex to play. While your priority should always be to heal your team with your magical healing coupons, don't sleep on the destructive power of your kunai. These suckers can deal serious damage if you're capable enough to land headshots with them. If you have the accuracy, you can murder squishy damage and support characters on the enemy team with just two well-placed kunai to the head. Playing Kiriko aggressively is a viable option, but remember to heal, or at least make sure the secondary healer has enough healing juice to take the reins while you're out there sniping with the fox lady. That being said, if you're not particularly accurate with these kunai shots, then you may want to pull back until you improve your headshot prowess. While the kunai deal great critical damage, their body shot damage is... Uh, not so good. This means that if you encounter a character that can heal themselves, like Soldier 76, you could be in trouble as your body shots won't out-damage their self-healing. And if you run into a tank, well, you better land nothing but headshots, and even then, you're probably still screwed. In any case, you either gotta land your headshots with these kunai, or you should get the hell back to your team. Thankfully, returning to your team isn't too difficult since Kiriko is a very mobile hero, what with her swift step and wall climbing abilities. By climbing up obstacles and buildings, you can either find shortcuts to get across the maps quickly, or good vantage points to rain kunai down on the heads of the opposing team. You could also climb up to reach any enemy snipers that are causing problems for you and your crew. Finally, 
Finally, the Kitsune Rush could be a good ultimate to use when you and your team want to bum rush the objective. However, there is a very slight delay when it comes to unleashing this alt. It only takes less than a second for your little fox spirit to come out and scamper across the ground, but that's pretty much all the time it takes to get annihilated in this game. To make sure you use it effectively, activate the Kitsune Rush just a moment before you reach your desired location where you want to put it down. That way, you're not just standing still when you use it, making yourself an easy target for snipers. Also remember to not look away when you use this ultimate, because if you turn away from where you want to use it, for even a microsecond, the Kitsune Rush may not go where you want it to. And that's how to use Kiriko. Remember to throw your healing papers, land your headshots with your kunai, and always keep moving with your swift step, climbing ability, and your Ketsune Rush Ultimate. She can be a very fun character, and I can't wait to see what the next hero is that's coming to Overwatch 2. I also can't wait to grind out 50 levels in the free battle pass to unlock them. The future of gaming gives me such a feeling of pride and accomplishment. For more gaming news and guides, check out thegamer.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.